I wanted to ask you before we move off of basketball, just a couple more questions about sports. And the first question would be, what is the importance of ferocity in sports? How do you play aggressive yet under control? Ooh, I love that question. It goes back a little bit to when we talked about injuries and you're playing as a whole person. When I played um, basketball, it was almost as I could read the moves that were going to happen on the court before they would actually happen. You kind of trained yourself so much and played in so many games, played in so many situational practices that you kind of were able to read things ahead of time. Um, I would say IQ, basketball IQ, people talk about that, athletic IQ, really helped me stay in a controlled space. And so you were able to kind of read and know where to move your body ahead of time or where to pass the ball ahead of time, where your teammates were going to be able to where they were going to be able to shine. That was really kind of the best thing where you could play hard because you almost could feel it coming ahead of time. I have um, a really, really great story that uh, kind of answers your question. We were in the Big 12 tournament and we were playing um, the University of Colorado and we were down seven with like 52 seconds left to go, which is a pretty big amount um, to be down by. Somehow we called our way back and um, you know, we had a fast break where each person on our Iowa state team touched the ball. There was like a block shot, a rebound, a pass and a pass to me. And I got the ball and I hadn't had the best of games. I was missing a couple of, you know, I missed a few shots. I just wasn't really on, but I was willing to take the last shot in case, you know, it meant the game or not, but I'm dribbling up the court and out of the corner of my eye, I see my teammate streaking up the court on the three point line. And she gave me that look. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to make this shot. Like she's going to drain it and we're going to win the game right here. So it was almost like, again, you've practiced it so many times where you could know what was going to happen before things were actually happening. And she gave me that look, I passed her the ball. She drained the three and we ended up winning the game with like 0.0 seconds left. So it was an incredible uh, moment where we all kind of focused on that last play where all five of us touched the ball. And then you knew something was going to happen ahead of time. It helped you stay present in the moment because you could kind of see things um, kind of moving in front of you, which is also something I really try to work on in my life and in my career. So I just had to share that story because it was, it, no, it, I- it, It worked right there. I, I, and I smile so much about that play because I was like, we practiced it a thousand times and I saw it and I was like, she's going to make that shot. So cool. 